Hello, it's Alex again. The footage that you're watching just now is what I would call a dream a dream bike ride. It was at Isle of Skye, the weather was beautiful, the roads were fantastic, they were empty, and the scenery was just simply stunning. I think that's what a lot of bikers dream of, adventures. And that to me was such a wonderful journey. But it's anything but typical. I was out for a ride on the bike on Friday the 14th of October and it turns out that this, this is actually a typical bike ride for me. The video really has come about because I watch a YouTube channel from the All Year Motorcyclist and he does lots of fantastic reviews and he talks about real life and it got me thinking, what is real life? What is a real life motorcycling journey for me. I do it for social, I don't work, I don't commute or do any of that, so that's what this video is all about. So as nice as Isla Sky is, it's not a normal everyday ride. But here one it is. Today's ride was for 55 miles, it lasted 2 hours and was on city, town, village and country roads that were fast and slow. The journey starts with filling up with fuel. And soon we hit lots of traffic lights and roundabouts, which is typical for city riding. The weather's pretty decent. It's not raining, it's dry. And we'll soon be out of the city. It's about three miles or so from leaving the petrol station to get to this point here and we finally leave Dundee. But, hmm, it's wet and it's been raining and it rains on and off. Nevertheless, it doesn't last. The scenery is great and the roads are good. And we're now about to come across our first tractor of the day. There's plenty of these around. The road's so narrow, there's no place to go, so we just have to sit behind the guy while he gets to the end of the road. We soon, we soon part company and I head up to the main Dundee to Newtile Road and here's the first hazard car cut in the corner we're now on the main Dundee to Newtile Road it's a lovely bikers road it's got lots of nice nice sweeping bends lots of nice twisties however we also get a lot of the muck from the tractors on the road. Well, yeah, that's Maggie. The road is still a bit damp, but it's still, still a very enjoyable ride. And it continues like this for a few miles as we start to approach Newtown. And then, of course, this is when traffic coming kicks in. Oh, just about every little village in the area has got a 20 mile an hour speed limit imposed on it. So we go to 40 and within about 100 yards, we then go to 20. And unfortunately, we then have to crawl through the village. But soon, we come out of the village and then we hit the national speed limit and off we go again and this is a, a lovely scenic part of the road tree lined and we soon come to a canopy covered road which then changes the mood of the road The 
the next village that we're about to hit is Aleph, and once again it's 20 miles an hour. And not only that, they, they have the flashy lights, the speed camera, the giveaway signs ahead, which slows down the traffic on both sides of the road. We've got the speed humps in the middle, and that's like that all the way through the village. We soon leave Aylith behind and we're heading towards Kerry Muir. We're now on a national speed limit, it's about 10 miles of glorious open road and this one's quite quiet. A really enjoyable part of the road and a nice fast road. So this is us arriving in Kerry Muir. And we're about to go down to the local speed limit which is about 30 miles an hour and we soon pass through that and head out the eastern side of Currymuir and head towards Forfar. There are a few 20 mile an hour speed limit zones down on this road but we pass through them fairly quickly and we then eventually end up at the national speed limit and head towards Forfar. And of course every bike, biker's nightmare is cars emerging from side roads at speed. So just ahead, you can see the car come steaming up to the junction, they're going to stop. Yes, they are. And then we're back on the road again. But not for long, another little village, but this time they've not got the 20 scourge yet, it's still at 30. We are now arriving for a lovely little market town. Three bikers get a nod from the mall, give them a nod back, and we make our way through Forfar and out the other end towards our growth. The road to our growth is another cracking road. Lots of sweeping bends, lots of open road, but unfortunately it's also a very busy road and you quite often get a lot of cars. It's not too bad today. I get behind the motorhome and stuck behind there and they, they had a bit of a erratic behaviour on this one. They kept slowing down, indicating, clearly looking for something, but they didn't know where they were going by the, the sounds of it. So we just toddle on around behind them and wait and see what they're doing. And of course the patient pays off when we get the opportunity to overtake. We're sitting in third gear. Quick look down the road, open the throttle up and before you know where you are. With the motor home out of the way we then crack on down the road but I'm afraid not for very long. Nice bit of open road and then just on the right hand side you see a big lump of a machine starting to emerge, it does stop of course. But him coming and going out of there puts all kinds of muck on the road, on a corner as well so you need to be careful. So I don't quite make it to Arroth, I, I take a turn off and head, use the back roads and I'm heading back towards Dundee, you can see that there's... As I make the turn you can see ahead that there's some great big black clouds which I'm heading towards. And where would we be without another tractor on the road. Tractors and the like are an ever-present danger on these back roads. Uh, some of them are so narrow and twisty and got lots of blind corners and you just cannot go quick around them. You're taking your life in your hands every time you do. So at this point in the road, I'm probably about, I don't know, between 8 and 10 miles from Dundee, from home. And I'm really keen to get home because those black clouds ahead are looking pretty ominous.
But life is never simple, is it? Once again, we hit another tractor on the road, and this time it's proven a bit difficult to get past them because of the way the road is sweeping and bends and what have you. So we're on this all the way down through Wellbank until we get to Kells when he turns off. And would you believe another village with a 20 mile an hour speed limit? But now in Wellbank, and even the tractor's managing to keep to the speed limit. Once again, you get the speed indicator up there on the side. It's a nice little village, Wellbank, actually, and so is Kellis. And here we are, finally, the tractor's decided to go his own way. Another big devil. And we accelerate off, car and bike, and head off towards Dundee. There we go. Lovely rain. Why right under that big black cloud? The rain doesn't last a few hundred yards. We come to the junction at the bottom of that road, and the sun's shining. Back in the city of Dundee. And of course, when you're in a city, you get traffic lights and traffic jams. And just for one last time, we get another tractor. There we go. They're everywhere. So, another, another traffic lights. Just a hundred yards down the road. And then the rain comes back on, gives me a good soaking. And although the road's about three miles long, we're still on the same Arbroath Road, and it stopped raining. And then the sun's out, and that's just about us for the day. That that ride is a typical ride for me when I'm just going out locally, a couple of hours, maybe three hours. I've done it on my Honda NC750, which I think is the Swiss army knife of bikes. It can do the city, the town, the country, the fast roads, the slow roads. Do it in comfort, and it is real life biking. A truly tremendous bike. Thanks for watching.